useful video for the better understanding a job, cloud administrator basic job role responsibility. Updated information. Thanks a lot dear for watching this video. You are requested to watch the full video for the better understanding a job role of cloud administrator. Hit like button or subscribe the channel for more update also can check more videos on our channel. Cloud administrators have two primary responsibilities, configure the cloud management service and monitor and manage the services. Cloud administrators are members of the virtual provisioning cloud administrators group. Perform the following tasks to prepare the cloud management service. Install and configure the cloud management application for the provider, for example, AWS, Azure, or VMware. Set properties for cloud management. Run discovery on the cloud resources and define discovery schedule for recurring discovery job. Obtain templates and approve some templates to be used to create catalog items. Define catalog items for both VMS and more complex offerings. Configure default lease settings. Set pricing for the catalog items. Define and activate provisioning rules. Define and activate tagging rules. Define change control parameters for cloud resources. Customize the user experience, provisioning rules and UI policies. Define the schedule for downloading billing data. Typical day-to-day -day tasks of a cloud administrator. Approve change requests associated with modifications to cloud resource. View pending approvals for cloud resources. View and analyze summary data on cloud resource deployments. Monitor requests and key metrics for cloud resources. The virtual provisioning cloud administrators group has or inherits these roles. Idle. Cloud underscore admin. Cloud underscore operator. Cloud underscore user. Cloud operations portal. Cloud administrators and operators. Cloud underscore admin. Cloud underscore operator role can access the cloud operations portal to view a role-based graphical view of all cloud resources. Cloud admins and operators can perform lifecycle operations on the resources using the list view. AWS Cloud Administrator Actions The primary responsibilities of a cloud administrator are to configure the cloud management service, and to monitor and manage the services. Azure Cloud Administrator Actions the primary responsibilities of a cloud administrator are to configure the cloud management service, and to monitor and manage the services. VMware Cloud Administrator Actions The primary responsibilities of a cloud administrator are to configure the cloud management service, and to monitor and manage the services. Change Control for Cloud Management a cloud administrator can configure the system to create change requests for specific modifications to virtual machines. Service level management for cloud management. When activated, the orchestration plugins for Amazon EC2, VMware, and Microsoft Azure create service level agreements, SLA, and operational level agreements, OLA, for cloud management. Tags improve reporting for cloud resources. Cloud admins can enrich tracking and billing data for cloud resources by configuring the system to auto-tag resources when they are provisioned. For example, when resources are tagged with a cost center tag, the reports can present the billing data segregated by cost center. Define the schedule for downloading billing data. To obtain the data that appears on billing reports, a job, Scheduled script, downloads the billing data from the provider to the ServiceNow database. Configure default lease settings. Properties specify the default lease period and maximum allowed duration of a virtual server lease for all cloud providers. Define an eviction policy for VM snapshots. To conserve disk space, you can define an eviction policy that deletes existing snapshots when the count of snapshots equals the specified snapshot limit setting, and when a scheduled job attempts to take a new snapshot. 
Define provisioning rules. Provisioning rules auto configure cloud resources. When a user requests a cloud resource, each provisioning rule, in the specified order, compares the requested resource against the conditions in the rule. If the request meets all conditions, then the system assigns a value to the variables that are specified in the rule. Terminate a cloud resource. A cloud admin can configure the system to generate a change request whenever a user requests the early termination of a resource. When an instance reaches the end of its lease, or its grace period, the system auto-terminates the resource and notifies the user. Delete stale VM data. To prevent your Servicanow instance from becoming overloaded with unused or expired resources, maintain your resource list by scheduling automated cleanup of stale VM data. View a cloud resource in the BSM map. The discovery workflow discovers all virtual resources. You can view virtual resources in the CMDB Business Service Management map, BSM map, as a network of related resources. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Subscribe the channel for more update.